Okay, I'm going to show you how the, the side gate on the 10 meter works. I'm going to turn this thing counterclockwise to 180. So you've seen it was 120. We lose 60 degrees of rotation. And there it is rotating up there. I'll try to zoom that in for you so you understand how this gate works. You'll see the rotors on there. The thing is just turning around the tower. So you got the rotor with a 10 foot mast going up to a thrust bearing above it. And the thing is just sliding around the outside of the tower. I just made some adjustments up there and it's all working beautiful now. It's dead on on rotation and everything. It took a few couple trips to get it all right. It's work, but I think this really solved the tickering problem. Um, tick rings are always breaking down and you'll see this thing is coming right around I'll zoom out a little bit here it comes up and around and it's going to come right to the south position about 100 I got to think I got to set for 190 degrees to the south which from here is the Caribbean in Maine and there it is it's coming up and around and it just stopped. Let's go see what the beam heading on that is. I think it's going to be around 190. Yep, 190. I'm going to come back the other way now. And this thing should stop about 120, 125, somewhere around there. And here it comes. It's coming back around. You'll see where that beam heading was. And you'll see when it gets to the other side, it isn't that far off from where it was. So I'm losing about 50 to 60 degrees of rotation. And the spot we lose is to the southeast from 120-ish to 180-ish. And it, I'm rotating the middle of the 10 meter stack. So it's 90, 60, 30. So the 60 footer is rotating. And uh, I'll zoom back in on that so you can get a real good look at that see how it's just rotating right around the elements don't hit the tower there seems to be no interaction I got a Yezu 2800 in there um, we had a windstorm here recently so it spun in the mass so I pinned the mass to the rotor and uh, this is a 10M7, which is a pretty long boom. I'll zoom back out again. I think that's like a 45 foot boom, something like that. And there you go. It just stopped around 120 degrees. So that's how a side gate on a tower, instead of using a tick ring, we're using a side gate with a Yezu 2800. Besides, on 10 meters, way way out there in the distance way out here we have eight over eight over eight on a rotating tower but these are the mono banders those are the tri banders so we have other options to get to the southeast we also have an antenna up here that got 10 meters way up here so we have options here in jonesport thanks for watching the video ray w2r8